Got mega donor Rebecca Mercer emailed the CEO of a data science firm working on Donald Trump's presidential campaign to ask if the hacked Clinton-related emails published by WikiLeaks could be indexed in a searchable database, it has been reported. Mercer, a highly influential political donor who along with her family has contributed tens of millions of dollars to conservative causes, reportedly emailed Cambridge Analytica CEO Alexander Nix in August 2016, according to the Wall Street Journal. Mercer, who initially supported Sen. Ted Cruz's presidential bid, later endorsed Trump and introduced both Steve Bannon and Kellyanne Conway as key figures in his campaign. She received a suggestion from someone she met at an event for Cruz that the WikiLeaks emails should be indexed or otherwise organized to make them more searchable, a source to the WSJ. Brian Bedigetti Images for Concordia Summy Mercer forwarded the suggestion to Nix, who responded saying he had reached out to Julian Assange in June 2016 before the emails were released to ask if he might share the documents with Cambridge Analytica. Assange had turned him down, Nix said. WikiLeaks, which obtained emails from both the hacked accounts of Clinton campaign manager John Podesta and the Democratic National Committee, started releasing the documents in July 2016. Just one week later, Cambridge Analytica, which is financially backed by Mercer's father Robert Mercer, received its first payment from the Trump campaign for its data management services. Justin Talisop Getty Images U.S. intelligence agencies later concluded Russians hacked the accounts and turned the emails over to WikiLeaks, although Assange has adamantly denied the source. Trump's son-in-law and advisor Jared Kushner and digital director Brad Parscale hired the big data company known for political marketing and micro-targeting. The House Intelligence Committee has requested information from Cambridge Analytica as part of its investigation into Russia's involvement in the elections. Members of the committee have also questioned whether the company may have helped Russians target American voters on social media during the presidential campaign.